The Trust, A Game of Greed on Netflix. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice, back with another video, back with another review. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new here, I'm crazy, I'm loud, and I'm all over the place. Let's get into The Trust. Have you watched it yet? Are you gonna watch The Trust? You should. It's on Netflix. Don't everybody got Netflix? Okay, they don't let us share our passwords no more, but we still got Netflix. Let's get into this. Baby, 11 people. I think 11 people entered the house. Only five people went home with the prize money. But let's break person by person down because you know who's first on my goddamn list. Told Lou. I don't like her. I don't even care at the end. She redeemed herself. I still don't like her. I don't. She's a pretty woman, but baby, she's mean. She is spiteful. Her attitude is not right. Her attitude is not right. Soon as she came to the house, I mean, the first episode, she was starting on her BS, okay? First of all, she was like, I'm an immigrant. My family moved here from Africa. All this stuff. She was talking about Africa. She had the African earrings on. All this stuff. So Jake, the guy in the military, was calling her like African princess, African queen. And she got mad about it. Like, don't, don't talk to me like that. Don't be calling me that. But all you talked about was Africa and how you're so proud to be from Africa. You're just so happy about being African. And then when somebody calls you that, you're offended. I'm like, okay, whatever. And Jake apologized and he didn't do it no more, okay? But the other thing is, so the first two people got to go in the vault. I, for, I don't forgot. It was Joel's, Joel's and somebody else, okay? They decided to block two people's votes. She was one of the people, Okay. Why did she say, he's trying to take away my power, all this stuff. And he's like, no, we picked out two names. And your name was one of the first names. It was random, not on purpose. You're trying to take away from my power. My power has always been taking, uh, taken because I'm African. You're trying to take away my power. Girls, let's vote him out. And sure enough, they voted that poor man out when it wasn't only her power taken away, it was Bryce's t power taken away too. But she has this chip on her shoulder that everybody is after her. Everybody's out to get her. And that's why she felt that way. And I felt so bad for that man because he literally just picked, and I knew, I said, the way she was talking, I said, do not pick her. She is going to flip out. She is going to trip out on you. And sure enough, she did. Like, yeah. And they were like, and her friend Winnie, her best friend Winnie. And I don't even know how Winnie was her best friend in the house when Winnie didn't even tell her what her real offer was. Okay. Anyways, they was like, yeah, he done try to take your power. So he didn't take Bryce's power either. He didn't take his power either. Cause I think Bryce was the other name. He didn't take his power either. He just only took your power. Like, and he wasn't the only person in the vault. It was two people in the vault. And you're going to say he took your power. It was crazy. And he got voted home because she felt like he took her power. I said, oh, you a goddamn trip with a whole chip on your shoulder. If you don't get that chip off your shoulder so you can live your goddamn life, you still young enough that you can learn from this shit. And I went to her Instagram because you know I'm that person. I went to her Instagram and people was talking shit in her Instagram. And you, you know what? I did not just look because she was acting a fool and I don't care what nobody say. Yes, I feel bad that I got to talk about another fellow sister like that but she was acting up y'all i cannot let that slide tolu was acting up okay the whole entire time even at the end when i thought maybe she changed it no nope. she ended up taking the offer taking twenty five thousand. didn't tell anybody she took it lied and said she didn't take it okay yeah she might have shared the money at the end which i didn't think she was gonna do that i said lord she mess around and vote somebody out. You just don't know with her. But she ended up sharing. But still, it's just like she didn't turn it around enough for me at the end. Because she had been this mean person the entire show until her best friend Winnie got sent home. And let me tell you this. When they were like, we got to get Winnie out the house, right? The guys was like, we got to get Winnie out the house. She is controlling things, right? I'm like, no, no, no. Why was I? I probably was the only one that's like, no, you need to get Tolu out the house because they were showing us more of her and her attitude and how she was speaking to people that I'm like, get her instead of Winnie, you know? But they ended up getting Winnie out and Winnie ended up taking an offer because they offered her, what was it, $20,000 
if somebody leaves, right? If somebody got voted out. And it was so funny because I'm like, girl, you the one getting voted out. They're about to vote you out. You have no idea that these people are coming against you and you're going to be the one gone, but at least you get to go home with $20,000. But she didn't even tell Tolu that she had got offered $20,000. She said she had got um, offered $8,000. And then people wanted to vote her out because she voted Bryce out. And I liked it, Bryce. Now, should Bryce have told anybody he was a millionaire? No. Obviously, your mama's a real estate agent. You're a real estate agent. You was talking about how beautiful this house is and you sold houses to millionaires. I watched Selling Sunset because I got Netflix, okay? So I know what your commission is, sir, okay? I can do some math. And he he had to go. He First, he told Lindsay's shady ass. And we go get onto Lindsay's crazy ass, Okay. And then he had to tell the whole room, did you see how Julie's face changed? Julie was upset. She was envious. She was jealous. She didn't know what to do about him, okay? She, at that table, and he's like, I'm just tired of hiring my Giuseppes. <laughs> did I say that right? Giuseppes. <laughs> Giuseppes. See, I can't get it. Am I Giuseppe? Eh. I got it out. I was probably still wrong. That's how you can tell that I don't got that, okay? Because I definitely am a Target, Walmart, Fashion Nova, Shein. Don't judge me about Shein. I know, I know. But that, that's the type of girl I am, okay? JC Penney's. I might splurge on the little dealers here and there. But yeah, you know I don't got that stuff, okay? Louis Vuitton, all that. That's what he was tired of hiding from people, okay? They end up voting him out. They said, you don't need the money. And you know what? If I was him, because I'm so damn petty... Even when y'all split the money, I'ma still have more money than y'all. Ha, 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 ha. I was just here for the experience of trying to get my social media numbers up. And that's just period, honey. That's what I would've did, but I'm just too damn petty, okay? that's I would've let them hoes know. Even if y'all splitting that money and getting y'all little few thousand, I'm still richer than all y'all and I employ five people. That's what he was trying to tell Lindsay. I'm gonna tell them that I employ five people. I'm not getting all that money in my pocket. She's like, don't do that. Don't do that. I was like, right, you got employees? Uh, some of these people is employees. Not employers, employees. The rancher, Brian, said he worked his whole ranch by his damn self. He can't even hire no damn self. Okay, he's about to have that adopted rooster, the baby. That's what they called it, a rooster, out there working on the ranch, okay? Baby, you ain't too young. Get out here on the ranch and work. Daddy needs your help. Anyways, he should have never told nobody, okay? He should have never told anybody. But see, what had happened was that Winnie and um Tolu was supposed to be his friends and that's what signaled the guys that these hoes was shady because they voted their own friend out and when he was like would anybody like to say if they voted me out and them hoes sat there like they voted their homeboy out I said oh I can't stand y'all plus you know what Julie was gonna vote him out anyway because she had took an offer that was 15,000 that they had to vote somebody out wasn't that when it was uh Bryce, I think it was. So Julie got her fifteen thousand. I'm pretty sure I might be wrong, but listen, Julie was too concerned anyway. I understand she was in foster care, blah 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 blah, all this stuff. So you know she also had a chip on her shoulder like Tulu, but she was too invested in Jake. I'm like, is you and Jake together? Because you was all on him. You know they went back to the hotel and bu bumped uglies. You already know because she was on him googly eyed and everything i said is it because he military you know he got benefits because ain't nothing like a military man they might cheat but they got benefits okay they got benefits and you can travel the country and stuff in the world and stuff with him okay but anyways googly eyed i didn't trust julie for the longest but then i started trusting her or whatever whatever but when they was about to vote winnie out winnie and them decided to out Lindsay because they had had this little game of poker and the guy said they trusted Lindsay, not thinking that it was going to put a target on her back. And Winnie and them was like, oh, Lindsay, you've been working with the guys, even though you said you was working with us. But Lindsay, but, 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 Lindsay was right to be working with the guys because Tolu Winnie and Miss J, Grandma J, that's who they planned on winning. Them three, they was going to vote everybody else out, including Julie. Julie don't even know because Julie didn't even vote for Winnie, but Winnie still went home. 
that was it was gonna be them three everybody else was gonna be gone they was gonna vote everybody else out so they was mad at Lindsay because Lindsay was playing both sides with the guys and the girls but Lindsay had to protect herself what else was she gonna do okay I hate that she voted her homeboy Bryce out too like why you do that he trusted you to tell you that he was a millionaire he didn't have to tell nobody else that okay then then they at the table before Wendy got voted off they try to get everybody to flip on Lindsay like she's shady. She playing both sides. They was eating her alive. And they was like, Lindsay, do you have anything to say? And Lindsay was like, nope. I was like, yep, stand 10 toes down. They just said what they want to say. They was still ugly. They was still ugly up until the end. I'm telling you, Tula was still ugly when she went to go talk to the guys. And the guys was like, it is what it is before they voted for Winnie. Like, it is what it is. We're doing what we're going to do. We going to see. We going to see. I'm like, girl, you ain't going to see nothing. Your homegirl's going bye, 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 bye. Like, Tolu and goddamn Winnie was the villains of the show. Okay? They was the villains of the show. I hate that because I didn't want them to be the villains. I want them to be lovey-dovey. But they came in on some BS. Okay? At least Winnie still got to, she got kicked out, but she still got to leave with 20000 And Tolu got an extra 25000 then Grandma J, Miss J, okay, she was cool. She didn't take no shit, okay? She would talk her shit. She don't give a damn, okay? They try to say she was the one that cheated on her husband. She's like, baby, I might have been married three times, but I ain't never cheated on my husband, okay? I ain't never cheated on none of my husbands. I did this shit right, okay? They offered Miss J, what they offer her, twenty or 25000 and she could just go home. Man, Miss J took that offer so quick. I'll go home. I said, I would have took it too. I'd be like, listen, I'm going home because y'all ain't about to vote me off and I don't leave with nothing. Not a damn red set. No, 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 baby. I'll send myself home. So Miss J ended up going home, okay? She took the offer and was gone. I said, good, because they was thinking about getting you out next, Mama J. So you had to leave. I'm going to call her Grandma J, Miss J, Mama J. You know who I'm damn talking about if you watch the goddamn show. And Simone, Simone was an unemployed single mama. They voted her out because they didn't trust her at all, okay? They didn't know whose side she was playing on. When she was supposed to be riding for the girls, she was riding for the boys. So they just got rid of her. Quick, she didn't even have a goddamn chance. Like, my favorite person was Brian, the rancher, because they tried to give him an offer. And he was like... I will not accept that. I will not sell my integrity. My integrity is not for sale. I said, okay, Brian. Okay, Texas Rancher. Okay. I said, period. I said, he don't play no games. That's why he ended up getting that 30000 He had to block three votes, though, to get that 30000 But at least he didn't have to cut nobody out. But, and I like Jasper, too. Is it Gasper? I think it's Gasper. I want to say Jasper so bad, but it's Gasper, and he's the teacher. I really liked him. He ended up voting Lindsay out because he was trying to save uh, Tolu because he knew that they was going to vote for each other, but he wasn't sure. So then he ended up getting rid of Lindsay, but he didn't tell nobody. But Lindsay needed to go home because at the end, she was so mad at him because she blew out the candle, and she uh, was playing the the game and she's like y'all let her talk to me any kind of way oh ain't i having a good hair day but anyways i'm mad at all y'all y'all shady f y'all she was having a fit she was unhinged as the guy said and i'm like she should be and she was like brian why would you say you didn't burn out a candle then it was like when he knew i blew out her candle after i said i didn't blow out a candle i'm like girl why does it even goddamn matter okay then they was getting these cards with the silver strip, like a debit card, and able to go in the vault and all that. It was just a whole lot going on. But, you know, I had to get that off my chest because even though Tolu pulled it in the end, I still don't like her. And Winnie was acting a fool, too, just embarrassing us and stuff. I was like, y'all ain't got to act like this. Y'all ain't got to be ugly, okay? Everybody ain't after us. I know sometimes we feel like the world is after us. But everybody ain't after us, and we ain't always got to be on the goddamn defense. But Brian... Gasper, they were like my favorite. I even liked it, Jay. And I liked it, Bryce. Even though he was a millionaire, he wanted to come and build up his social media, okay? And that's all right. He wanted to come experience. That's fine. I don't know how I feel about Jake or Julie or, you know, like Jake and Julie, they was cool. But Jake just thought he was alpha male. He was, he was the smartest. He was the leader. He was everything. Everybody should listen to him. He, he was a hot damn mess a little bit. I said, you definitely, definitely is giving that. You is definitely giving what you're giving, okay? And and uh, Grandma J didn't like that one bit. She was like, what you're not going to do is that. I said, I know that. 
Grandma Jay wasn't playing no games. But at the end, they all split some money and they get to go live happily ever after after taxes take it. And uh, that's what happens. Because what they get, like 40 something thousand a piece, the last five. Well, 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 what's his name? Had an extra 30,000. Then Julie had an extra 15,000. And then Tulu had an extra 25,000. So really the rancher left with the most money, which I think is good because he never sold his integrity, okay? He stayed 10 toes down and being the man that he always wanted to be and being a good man. So I said, you know what? Okay, it's a must watch show. I like it. But I'm disappointed. I am disappointed in my, my sister girls. I'm just a little disappointed. I know some people ain't going to agree with me. Like, they your sisters. You shouldn't be talking. But they was acting a fool and they was being mean girls. They really was being bullies and mean girls. Because you didn't have to vote that first dude out. That was, he didn't, he wasn't coming for you. You was just the first name. And if he would have thought better, he wouldn't have chose you because he was gone instantly, but he was lying anyway. He told people he was a stripper, but really he a popo. -po. And I was like, boy, you look like a popo. -po. And you know they say don't mess with them popos because they be abusive and stuff. That's what they be saying. I'm just saying what they saying. I ain't going to marry no popo -po now. I will marry a firefighter, okay? I will marry one of them, but not no popo. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And maybe a spy, FBI agent, a detective, but not like a popo -po that pull people over for not having like, a tail light or they license plate light or they license plate is expired because people running through hard times. So I can't date no popo. -po. But like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all thought about the trust. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? And are you gonna watch it now that I reviewed it? I know it's a little bit all over the place because my mind is trying to remember everything. Let me think. Do do do. Uh huh. Lindsay is crazy. Yeah, Tolu is crazy. Mm hmm. Miss J took the twenty five thousand. Oh, and then the last three votes was blocked the trust before the last trust. It was Brian, Julie, and Jake, which they didn't vote, so it didn't matter. Um, that was really it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see y'all later on this week. Watch the trust. Tell me what y'all thought about Tolu and Winnie and Jake, because they was kind of really the three that was. And Brian. Brian was good, too. He was giving main character energy. Tell me what y'all think. If they do another season, will you watch it? Because I definitely will. I definitely will. I'm like, y'all couldn't all make it? Y'all all couldn't split the goddamn money? Nope, because people started instantly not trusting. And Tolu set the whole thing off with having that chip on her shoulder about him taking away her, her rights, okay? Taking away her votes. And that's all she ever had. And in the end, when she was talking about Africa again in the last episode, she said she didn't have no diapers. They couldn't even afford no diapers. I said, how you know that your mama told you? Like, girl, you still talking about Africa and you being an immigrant, but you don't want nobody calling you an African queen. And you still got your African earrings on. I'm just saying, I know a lot of Africans. I don't a lot of Africans too.